Today we're going to travel through the state of Delaware. You might be wondering, where is Delaware? Delaware is located in the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic regions of the United States. It borders Maryland to the South and West, Pennsylvania to its North, and New Jersey to its Northeast, and the Atlantic Ocean to its East. Delaware was the first of the 13 original colonies to ratify the Constitution in 1787. Delaware is given the first position in congressional votes and national events, such as the presidential inauguration. Did you know that Delaware is the second smallest state in the United States? It's the least populated state. It only has three counties. It has no sales tax, and they host two NASCAR races a year at Dover International Speedway, which is also known as Monster Mile. On our travels through Delaware, we're going to look at all that Delaware has to offer and look at what makes them so special. I'll be keeping a travel journal and taking lots of pictures for our journey through the state. First, we'll stop at the state capitol that's located in Dover, Delaware. Check out their state flag. The state was established on December 7, 1787. That was 237 years ago. Woo, that was a long time ago. While we were in the state capitol, we saw the state seal and also read their state motto, which says, Liberty and Independence. We also saw the state song on display. Dad read it to us. The first verse says, Oh, the hills of dear Newcastle and the smiling vales between, when the corn is all in tassel and the meadowlands are green, where the cattle crop is clover and the breath is in the air, while the sun is shining over our beloved Delaware. Then the chorus goes, Oh, our Delaware, our beloved Delaware, for the sun is shining over our beloved Delaware. Oh, our Delaware, our beloved Delaware, here's the loyal son that pledges faith to good old Delaware. There are three more verses to the song, but I'll let you read those for yourself. We found out from looking at all the car tags that their state colors are colonial blue and bluff. Nice colors. We also saw the state code of arms, which resembled the state flag and contained the words liberty and independence. After we left the Capitol building, we went in search of all the things that make their state unique. Next, we found the state bird, which is the blue hen chicken. Let me just say, you can't catch them, they're fast. The state bug just happened to land on my arm at lunch. It's a ladybug. They are so cute and little. We stopped at a park for a picnic, and while we were there, we saw their state butterfly, a tiger swallowtail. So pretty. We saw a food cart and purchased some snacks and drinks, and we enjoyed a glass of milk, which is their state beverage. We also bought a piece of peach pie, which just happened to be the state dessert. Yum! Later, we found a vendor selling fresh strawberries, and Dad bought a box of them for later. This is their state fruit. While we were visiting the park, we happened to see some people putting on a dance. We later found out it was the state dance, the maypole dance. It looked like a lot of fun. The great thing about the park is they allow dogs. We found out that their state dog is a rescue dog. How neat. They promote people getting rescue dogs. My mom loves flowers, and she read in our travel book about Delaware that the state flower is the peach blossom. She also read that the state herb is goldenrod. We found some of it growing alongside the road. I'm not sure I like goldenrod, as it made me sneeze, but the bees sure seemed to like it. Mom also found out that their state tree is the American holly tree. We found it growing in a lot of places. 
After we left the park, we took a drive along the Atlantic Ocean. We all love to go fishing, and I read in our travel book that the state fish is the weak fish. Then I discovered that the state fossil is the Philomenite, which is the ancient sea animal that is related to the squid. We took a walk on the beach and found some of their state seashells, a channel whelk. I'm going to add mine to my seashell collection when I get home. We later found a horseshoe crab, which is their state marine animal. We just took a picture of it and left it alone. While we were at the ocean, we stopped to visit the state tall ship, the Calmer Nickel. Wow, what an interesting ship. While we were checking out the ship, a gentleman there told us that the state holiday, which is called Delaware Day, is celebrated on December 7th. It's in honor of when they first became a state. We'd like to come back on their holiday. A few other interesting things we found out about the state is that their state mineral is silimanonite. It looks like a grayish rock. Their state soil is Greenwich loam, which is full of rich minerals that helps to grow a variety of plants. I was intrigued to find out that their state animal was the gray fox. I really wanted to see one of those. Dad stopped at a local bank and purchased us each a Delaware state coin for our collection. Another thing we found out about Delaware is that the state sport is bicycling. We saw lots of people riding their bikes. Finally, one of the most interesting facts for me about Delaware is that they are the first state to have their very own star named after their state. It is called the Delaware Diamond, and it is located in the constellation of Ursa Major. I can't wait to get home to find it with my telescope. We had a great time on our trip to Delaware and plan to come again one day. Until then, goodbye. If you get a chance to visit Delaware, I hope you will do so. They are a little state that has a lot to offer. Thank you for learning with me today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. We hope you'll join us again soon for another lesson on Wonder of Learning. Until then, bye-bye!